Medieval Michigan. Who is she? Why so cold? I recently completed a sojourn in St. Anne Arbor, and when searching for the Gothic pulse of a town, it's good to start with the basics, like an armory. A church is too easy, but the snow-covered Romanesque cannot be ignored. Also, an abandoned bandstand is definitely our vibe. These paneled banners have to be in our medieval pageant, and the alleyway version of them is very elevated. Personally, I like layered 2D fabric shapes. It's just the way I was raised. And with a metallic reveal on the backside, you're hired. Then I discovered this section of the Michigan campus, and it's like, you're telling me we're not medieval peasants? It's not adding up, and you need to prey on that delusion. Then we saw these inverted tassels at the Natural History Museum, and a bearded capital S at the UMA Art Museum. And you know we checked out the cemeteries, which we will talk more about in September. And I wanted to show you my Michigan thrift store finds. Like this tunic dress that I'm kind of obsessed with. Just like the shape it's making. We'll do something with the sleeve, but... And then they had these fabric stripes, or what some people would call a belt. And I'm like, we gotta use this in a costume somehow. They're really long, and they have this great stitching. I don't know what to do with them. But if you have any ideas, let me know. And thank you, Medieval Michigan, for the frostbite.